Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna cover outputting a JavaScript array of objects to an HTML table. Now this can come in handy when you have some dynamic data you either wanna call in from an API or maybe from a database that you've built out a REST API for. So this is gonna be a four part series where in the first one, we'll just grab this static array of objects and throw it into this table you see right here. And this is the output. Then in video two, we're gonna cover sorting by the table column. So right here, we can sort by name, we can sort this by age and by birthday. Video number three will be this table search functionality where as I start typing, it's actually gonna to respond to key up events and filter our data down. And as we remove uh, letters, we'll actually see that filter adjust. And finally in video four, we'll finish up with making an actual API call so we're not using this static data, we'll actually find a URL that holds some data and render that to an HTML table. So before we get started, I just wanna go over the code we have and what's currently being output here. So we have this, uh, this table right here, just some columns and a little bit of styling. And in our code here, we are using jQuery. So make sure you have this link somewhere in your code. You can copy it from my source code or just look up jQuery CDN and it should give you the latest version. And we are using Bootstrap too. So if you're not familiar with that, it's okay. I use uh, very little of it. So you can just kind of just copy and paste or just type in exactly what I have. And down here we have our table. Here's that styling. This is where we're getting that blue from for that table header and our three columns along with our table body where we're actually gonna be appending the rows to. So we're not appending to the table itself, we're appending to this uh, inner element here. And finally, we have our array of objects, and this is just a, a list of people with the first name, or just a name, uh, age and a birth date. So let's get started by building out that first function that will loop through and output everything. Okay, so let's call the function that actually creates everything here. Let's just call it build table. And this function is gonna take in one parameter and it's gonna take in this array here. So we're gonna to have to pass it the array of objects, which here we'll just call that parameter data, just to not have any confusion with the names. And we want to query the table. And for this, we're just gonna use document.getElementById. And our ID for our table, or at least for that section, is my body. And now we just need to create a loop that's gonna create every single row for us. So let's go ahead and write that for loop. So while the count is less than data.length, let's just go ahead and increment that and Let's create a row. So um, we're gonna call that variable row and we're gonna use something called template literal. So if you're not familiar with that, it's basically just a better way. It's, a, it's these back ticks and it just allows us to write a bunch of code without having to constantly concatenate everything like you would normally with, uh, I guess, normal uh, double quotes or single quotes here. So um, in our row, we're gonna start by building out that, I'm gonna do the table row here and create each element. So let me just clean this up a little bit and make that look a little bit more lined up. And let's create the three columns. So so the first one, and this is how we pass in the variables or any dynamic data with these uh, template literals. Um, we're gonna grab data, um, and then index it and grab the name for the first one. And we just want it again to line up with these columns. And the next one is gonna be age and birthday. So age and I spelled it birth date, should have wrote birthday. So a little mistake there, but it's all right. And on each iteration, we're gonna create this row. And since we've accessed the table right here, all we have to do, again, this is still in that for loop. Uh, let's just grab that variable and just set inner HTML. And all we have to do is set inner HTML to 
Um, we don't want to set the actual value. We want to add to it. We're just going to set it to row. And now we can just call the function and this should work. This should output that entire table. So let's pass in our array and hit refresh and see what happens. There we go. Perfect. So we now have our table of, uh, of data with, from this array. And that's pretty easy to, to handle there. Just that one function in that little loop there. So in the next video, we're going to cover creating that sort functionality. So if you want to continue to follow along, go ahead and just watch video number two of this series.